right hand side here folks, this is known as Twin Ink Stands. Twin Ink Stands got his name well, from that same old guy again, H.H. H. Bennett. He named it Twin Ink Stands because he thought it looked like the ink stands that would sit on his desk. The trees on top representing the feather that would sit in, and the black on the sides representing the ink that would spill down. That's not the only cool thing about Twin Ink Stands though, it actually forms a moral compass. The rock on the right pointing north and south, and the rock on the left pointing east and west. And it's only off by a few degrees. Now the Native Americans used this back in the day whenever they got lost. Now you may be wondering, if they were lost in the first place, how would they even follow, find this rock? Well, they would just follow the power lines there. Straight ahead here, the rock on the right hand side is known as Sugar Bowl Island. Sugar Bowl Island got its name, well, for you guessed it, H. H. Bennett. He named it Sugar Bowl Island because it thought it looked like an overflowing bowl of sugar. What do you guys think? Do you guys see an overflowing bowl of sugar? You guys see it? Yeah, I really don't see it either. Let me tell you what I see. That little ridge on the right, that's one leg. Ridge on the left, that's another leg. That fallen down tree up there, that's a tail. You guys are looking at the rear end of an elephant. You guys kind of see that? Yeah. You really need to rename that island. Now this rock coming up here to our left is known as Grotto Rock. Grotto Rock got its name well because of all the grottos and caves inside. Now it actually runs 15 to 20 degrees cooler on the inside. The Native Americans used this as a natural refrigerator back in the day and would store all their essential foods inside. They would store foods like meat, vegetables, berries, frozen pizzas, hot pockets, and ice cream. I get asked here a lot is how deep is the water here? Now it is generally 25 to 30 feet deep. But in this area that we're actually sitting on right here, it's actually the deepest part of the river. Right here is about 50 feet deep. 
Now this is because of a cave that actually caved in right here. Side here, this is this tall concrete building. This is known as the U.S. Geological S Survey Stream Flow Gauging Station. It's a real mouthful. Now, this gauges the speed of the water and the height of the water. Now, the highest this water has been is actually at the top of that brown side up there, all the way back in 1938. Now, if you actually do read the sign, you'll notice that they misspelled gauging as gagging. They had one job and spell check was not it. Now if you guys do have any questions about me, the Dells, the Ducks, uh, where to run from the cops, I totally got you guys. I've been a local here for a while. So if you guys have any questions, you guys can feel free to holler it up to me. I'm open to answer any questions. You guys guessed it. That is my house. You guys are all invited over to a barbecue later tonight. Now, if I'm not there, I do work pretty late. You guys can just walk right on in. Don't worry. No, I'm just joking. It's actually not my house, but it is. was recently just sold for about $2.2 million. And you can actually rent it out as an Airbnb. So if you guys do rent it out as an Airbnb, I do expect that barbecue invite. sitting on a piece of history I thought I would give you a little history lesson now as you guys know these ducks were made for World War II and they were made in Pontiac Michigan now about 20,000 of these were made and only about 10,000 were sent over to be used in the war now they were actually used for hauling cargo around in the war now of those 10,000 can anyone guess how many made it back any guesses 200 Get closer. There's actually only one, and it's actually sitting in a museum in Boston. Now the U.S. military until they found out that it's actually cheaper just to leave the ducks over there than to ship them back. So they scrapped them all of their valuable parts and sunk them in the ocean over there. 